Good morning. So, let's see where we were yesterday. Oh, wrong one. Oh, and not Snippet Pixie. That's what we're building, a new version of Snippet Pixie. So, yesterday we got tests working, I believe, uh, for some of the changes we made to the core data stuff, yeah. So, fixed up a bunch of stuff here. As you can see, lots of changes, um, doing all transactions and things. So this is for all the uh, database stuff, adding and removing snippets in the daemon. Um, now we've got a couple of to-dos, so just need to fix them up before we move on to the next thing. Um, so this should fail abbreviations, unique constraint, right, okay. So, yeah, so we got to the point where in this new um, set of tests where we're testing uh, the insert snippet um, function, we got to the point where if we define a snippet with the same abbreviation as we had already inserted up here, there rather, it should fail, or it did fail, and we should really test for that. We found that by mistake, I think, uh, by actually running it, and yeah, we had a unique constraint failed. Uh, so we need to um, we need to remember that we've we've got that feature, should we say? So um, let's test it here before we actually do a clean. Um, insert with a different abbreviation. So we created an ID, um, we assigned that and a last used date to this new snippet, um, but we didn't change the abbreviation. So let's do, let's do a couple of things here. Let's make sure we're going to do the right thing here. We'll do this so we know what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. Let's say new snippet, but with duplicate. And I guess really I should be doing this in a failures tests function, but we could just do this. Um, so here we know this is going to fail. So what we should do is test that is true. Uh, it's not equal to nil. And now I just need to do this, which is we can just do an empty text or back. And then we can do it again. So yeah, so this time what we'll do is we'll update the new snippet. Abbreviation to be SBR. And then we'll do it again. But this time we expect it to be okay.
So in theory, that should do the do then. Oh, we did a rollback. So that means we need Actually, we don't need a rollback, do we? Nothing happened. We can just try again. Here. Let's just take that out for a second. And then we should get a clean commit there. Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> but I must test the abbreviations. At least we know it worked. Because that should be that. Oh, that's going to fail now as well. And really, hold on. Let's do that. Just a little bit. There we go. Should I use a Z? No, probably not. Uh, right, okay. So in that, in theory, fingers crossed, we'll pass now. Yay. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. So that's just tested um, some basics there. Uh, a new snippet without an ID or last used um, gets created. And it has a ID assigned. That's not the null one. Um, and the last used is the zero, which is what we want. It's kind of, it's a bit like an ad snippet. So in ad snippet, we just pass in an abbreviation and body. But under the hood, we're doing all the same stuff. Doing it not now, blah, 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 snip it. I think. I think we can do, let's try this. OK. 
Can we do this? Oh. Does that work? Snip it now. Snip it now. Apparently so. Cool. Okay, that's good. That's a nice little refactor, that. Uh, snippets tested there. Nice. Okay. That's good. Makes it a lot easier there. Basically, we're just creating a, a, a function override in a way, but we don't get them in the go. So that's good. Okay. Um, and then in the insert, we're fine, I think. It would be nice to have a different way of testing that. Because at the moment what's happening is when you get the snippet come in without... Um, without our last used date, it's defaulting to 0001 as a year and all this kind of stuff. At least... If I need to fix that up, I can do it just in one place there at the moment. That's all that matters. Okay, so we've done this. Now the one extra change I want to test here is if we try and insert with the same ID, it should fail as well. Although that's that's kind of a given. Don't think we need to test any further. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's take that out. Done that to do. And we know we can take this out now. Right, one last pass, yep. Yeah. Everything's good. Okay. Right. So now, back to the main thing we were doing. So, here we're in sync snippets, which I'm tempted to rename, but we will come back to that. Um, we've got a few to do's here. But I think we're at a point where if a client hits the sync snippets dbus endpoint with a bunch of snippets, it's going to come in and it's going to say, OK, yeah, you got some. That's great pass through, start a transaction, go over them. So convert each debus snippet into a proper si snippet. So 
see if one already exists with that abbreviation. Ah, I've got to do the... Oh, I've got two te checks there. Because we should be checking for IDs as well. Okay. Hmm. And we don't have a function for that. We would have to hit it twice, and I'm not happy about that. We only need to go do one query. So this is at the moment looking for the abbreviation match and uh, we have we've get snippets which is a search which looks at the abbreviation where is it yeah so looks for where the abbreviation or body matches but we don't have yeah we've got an end in one as well but we don't have a get snippet by id I think we should, because otherwise, well, hmm. So, okay, so here's my theory here. Well, sorry, not theory. My predicament here. I could write a get snippet with ID and abbreviation. And it could do a query selecting for a snippet where the ID equals the given ID and the abbreviation equals given that abbreviation, which is looking for like does this uh, that does, but that doesn't really make much sense. What we really want is id equals this or abbreviation equals this. The problem with that though is that that returns potentially one or more snippets, i.e. two. 
because we could have a snippet with the same ID, but a different abbreviation, and another one with the abbreviation and a different ID. which is going to be a bit messy dealing with two. It is probably better. To go, right, do we have this ID and what does it have? And it will depend on the context as well. So depending on the import, we might want to do an import and say, OK, these are the IDs. Update according, accordingly. Or it could be, OK, these are the abbreviations. And these are suggested IDs effectively. Um, and throw away any. Updates. This gets a little bit tricky. There's some other scenarios there as well. Okay, let's do simple. And then we'll combine if we need to. I think. Let's do ID. And then I guess we need to test for that. Yeah. I think that'll work, okay. So get snippet with abbreviation. Okay, one quick thing I want to do here. All right, everything passes.
Oh yeah, I wanted to fix this up. Because of the uh, clash there with Snippet. So add snippets there, get snippet. I think I think we can just do a skill. We're going to get back that. And in here, we need manager. We need a database. And obviously the uh, this thing. So. don't need to do that again just to test that we can get one let's do a bit of refactor in here So we'll start a transaction. Nope. Because we're not adding anything anymore. Here we're just going to do some hard coded stuff. Ah, we don't have an ID. That's why. That's why we're doing it, because we want to do one test where where we know the snippet ID Do we care? I guess we should probably leave it because it would be handy there. Let's do one test where if we do a get, we already know. Yeah. Just to make sure that I get doesn't like miraculously substitute in a different ID on um, you know dynamically or something. So yeah, uh, 
change this to just a new snippet. Okay. And I've got to be careful with the time because I've I've got an early stop today. I'm going to shoot out. Defrost the car. Get to somewhere. Um, right. So, okay, what are we on? We're on add snippets, okay, there. And it's. Get snippet with ID, we're going to test. So, get snippet with abbreviation. Just double check this is all okay. That's okay. Scale stuff's okay. Ending abbreviation is fine. No records, no matches. No rows go get snippets. No rows is okay. Get snippets. That's okay. Um, update snippet with ID. We just need to fix this then. Let's say a ridge. Okay, well, I don't want to do all that. So, do not want the strings updated. That's more like it. Um, So we have an original snippet getting updated. So we check it. Change it. Get it back, a different snippet. Compare it with what we've just given. Including a full body test there. That's okay. Same thing down there, that's good. Okay, so then here.
It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Remove snippet. So we've cleaned up the clash there with the package name. Okay. Um, and I just want to go back and see if I've broken everything else or not. I might have. Got one failure there. Okay, debus, yeah, yeah. That's expected. Okay. So we're getting a failure in the command line interface because we haven't implemented the new sync snippets method yet, which we need to do to use the interface. So that is good. Uh, there was no other failures for the... No, just the one. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, well, I've got about 20 minutes, so let's see what we can do. See if we can get, um, I don't need that open anymore. So we've got Silly Main. We've set up the sync now. The basics. Um, let's do quick. I'm going to do a couple of quick tests here. We want failures here at the moment. This is all going to change, but Just going to do it quick. If um, if the sync snippet ID is not equal to UID dot nil, so we do have something assigned. Now, do we have block level things here? Block level comments? 
Cool. Um, check river snippet. Do that. So this is a block of stuff we're going to be doing at some point um, and doing things with it. But at the moment, we're good. So why is that now complaining? Because it needs to be a pointer. Okay. So if we are supplied with a in the import file, if a snippet comes in with an ID, then do we have one? We will do something with it at some point. In, later on, we're going to do something about if we find one with a matching abbreviation. Hmm. We're going to have various conditions here, actually, loads of things going on here. So we probably have, like, if we are updating by ID and we have one, do it. Mm. Okay, all kinds of things going on here. Um, so this is going to have to be a little bit blocked out at the moment. So I'll put in a quick test here. We don't need to. If we've already grabbed a snippet, don't need to test it again. So, um, Don't need to look for an abbreviation if we've already got one. Um, so if either one of those finds a snippet, we're going to skip at the moment because at the moment we're only doing clean inserts. We haven't got any conditions for saying update yet. So it's got to be a brand new to this install snippet. Okay, we'll do that. Um, so we we'll skip if we found a snippet. Otherwise, we are going to insert. Hopefully. And we're not doing anything with it. We're just starting it. I 
And if all goes well, we commit and return the stats. Okay. And now I've only got about 12 minutes and then I've got to go. So we need in here a sync snippet. Oops. Um, okay. Kind of need. Don't need to do any of that. I think it's going to be. It's going to be like this, but not snippets. It's just stats at the end, isn't it? Uh, so this is going to be That's not right, is it? For stars, it should be snippets. Um, where is my interface? Oh, that is right. But I just need to pass in the right things. So I kind of need to do the reverse of this. I don't have one where we're passing the snippet yet, do we? No, because we haven't done an update yet. So, okay, what we need is a bunch of snippets, um, and we'll call them dbus snippets, and they are Not that type. Don't really need that. So we want to change that to to do 
do uh, the range on snippets. And then we want to do the obverse of this, so... Deeper service from snippet. Sync snippet. So that creates. Let's call that a debug snippet. And then here. Debus snippets. Debus snippets. So append into the debus snippets this new debus snippet. We have a different, if you've not seen this before, uh, we've got a different format. Let's send in across um, the interface because we need to switch the timeout for an integer 64. Um, so we just pass a timestamp because uh, Dbus doesn't understand a go time field. Uh, plus it's, just, it's better for transferring integers than strings, string dates. Um, so, okay, so we're getting in a bunch of snippets. We're going to convert them to Dbus snippets. And then we're going to call sync snippets. With the dbus snippets. And we are going to have stats. As where is that? Where are my stats set up? Is that in snippet? Ah, sync result, of course. That's fine, okay. So it's a debus service sync result. theory and in the interface yeah we are returning the sync result so we need to do that and I have three minutes. I keep typing that wrong. Okay.
Let's do that there. Stats. Empty stats here. And here. And don't need any of that actually. So we're getting back some stats, hopefully, and we'll return them. Let's just do that for a moment. And I really got to go now, so I can't even test this just now. Um, so let's put where we're going to do this. We're going to be doing this now, aren't we? That's the next thing we've got to do is hook up everything. So what we've got left on the to do's Ooh, loads. Other two things we've got to do there. Yeah, that's fine on that. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, what's the internal? come back to that at some point so at the moment we want to do this next um, but I gotta go gotta get ready and go so let's do a quick make sure everything's passing it is right so it's satisfied now of the interface um, we just need to actually use it so that's good And that's what this is going to do. I'm actually going to call that dbus function and pass in this bunch of snippets that we've returned, we've read from a file. Um, and hopefully some of them will make it into the database. Okay. All right. Well, um, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care.